Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I am about to activate my new phone. It's a Google Pixel 7, and I bought it, man, probably two weeks ago. The phone came in a box with this special connector here that turns a USB into a USB-C. It also came with this dual USB-C cord, a little thing to clean the display off, little, I guess, instruction packet, and the phone was bare. I purchased a case for the phone because I am a little careless and abusive to my phones. And I put a good quality screen protector on it. Phone that I've been using over the past few years, probably four years or so. They claim it's a contractor's military grade when it comes to durability phone that is designed never to break physically. It has kind of a external case like exterior. I have cracked the lens on it before, had to replace that. And it's just getting to where the battery's weak. I got to charge it four or five times a day. It's locking up a lot. I'm having to do hard resets on it. It's time to move on. It's 4G phone. It's time for me to update and start benefiting from my 5G service I'm paying for through Verizon. I've got the phone charged up, my spare phone charged up. It's time to activate this phone. And the biggest thing you need to know when you activate these phones is your primary email account that you got when you set up your phone service and I believe I have that so I should be ready to go and I will probably do all my transfer of my data hopefully with this cord here this double USB-C at any rate let me go ahead and power it up and get started with activating this phone what you want to do is cut your power on that top button over there it says welcome click your get started Phone activation. Please wait while we prepare your phone. And hopefully I will get my text messages and everything that's not on an SD card over to this phone. This phone has an external or an additional SD card for memory, using for documents, photos, stuff like that. 32 gig. Then it's got a 32 gig built-in memory, which is... 64 gig this phone is supposed to have 128 gig so i shouldn't need a card i just gotta watch saving all these videos but usually i transfer my videos to my computer hard drive and backup drive since i am a content creator on youtube let's let this thing ride and i'll come back when we're ready for the next step i thought this phone was fully charged however since i've turned the power button on I noticed that the battery indicator up there was only 50%-ish charge. So I've plugged in that charger cord to my external charger. And I'm letting it be on the charger while it's activating. You don't want it to run out of power, which I doubt it will. My guess is it's going to take 30 minutes to activate this phone. If I'm having struggles, maybe two hours. But at any rate... Let's see how it goes, and I got it on the charger. I'm not worried about the battery power failing. But, again, I would have rather had this thing charge up while it was sitting instead of having 50% battery power. My other phone here has 99% power, so I'm in good shape. It's telling me that I can't activate the phone. I don't know what's wrong. It says something about having a weak signal, maybe. I have three bars here on my other phone, so I'm not sure what's that. I'm going to hit retry and try it again. If it doesn't activate, I'm going to hit skip next time it gives me that option. It gave me the cannot activate again, so I'm going to hit skip. Selecting the network. I'm going to click my Wi-Fi network and connect to that. I was able to connect to my network. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. Now it's telling me to copy apps and data. I'm going to choose next. 
from one phone to the next. Use your old device. You need your old Android phone. Turn it on. Keep it unlocked. And I guess I'm going to use the cord that they gave me to do that. Got the two phones plugged together. I'm going to hit allow. And I'm going to choose... The Android one up top. See what happens. I'm going to do the internal option there. I guess that's what it's asking me to do. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the cord out of the new phone. Because I'm not sure what happened there. I'm going to hit next. Now it says find your old device cable. Use a cable that fits in your old device. It's usually the cable used for charging. Insert cable into your old device. Connect both devices using the cable. I need to keep this on. Alright, they're both connected. Now what? After several times, I finally got something up on this phone so I'm going to hit copy copy in my accounts copy in my accounts enter your password so let me see if I can remember the password again once I entered the correct Google password for my primary email address I got to a screen that said copy and I hit next on this phone and it's copying over to that phone and it'll have a couple of props over here that you have to deal with, but it should be copying the data using that dual USB-C cord. Now it's asking me to choose what I want to copy. And I checked SMS messages, which should be my text messages, my apps with the passwords. So I'm just going to hit everything because... I can delete stuff later, but I can't add stuff later. So, here we go. Copying all of my apps and things. Now it's asking me backup and storage. These things look like they're on by default. Install updated apps. Automatically download and restore apps. Read this. Decide what you're going to do. This is a on and off toggle for these things. I'm on my limited warranty. I guess it's going to do English or Spanish. Agree to Google's terms and services. Set a pin for security screen lock. Let me decide what I'm going to do there. Now it's asking me to set up a fingerprint lock. Heck, this thing is covered with fingerprints. I'm going to hit no thanks. I can always redo that later. Set up face lock. I heard your children could do this. I'm going to hit no thanks on face lock. And continue. Talk to Google hands free. I agree. That's making your phone listen to you. Teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Could probably skip that so it doesn't recognize my voice it'll do it for anybody's voice access your assistant without unlocking your device options options it still says it's copying stuff off of my old phone anything else set up more things now or find them out later in settings I'm a hook Select Get Instant Translations. Primary language to translate to is English. Alright, I'm done for now. Get tips and tricks in your inbox. No thanks. Still copying my data. 14 minutes left. After all the copying was done, I had a message here saying all the copying was finished. Then it said over here to hit finish, so I did so. It's getting my phone ready. It may take a few minutes. It's done copying. 
Now it's just saying to do a few things and this phone should work. My battery juice is 36%. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through these things. It's telling me to navigate through and see if the phone will make calls and receive calls. This one should be deactivated. It's telling me I'm all ready. So I can swipe up to go to my home screen. There's my home screen. I could check, see if I got any messages in here. It appears that I do have messages in there. And now I can start using my phone, see if I can make a phone call. For some odd reason, my phone is still not connected to the network. So I have to work on that. Can activate. So I'm going to skip that. I'm not sure if this thing even has a card. But it is on Wi-Fi and it is still downloading things to complete the setup. So I'm going to set this aside, do some other things, come back to it in a little while. Pull it out of this case and make sure it has a SIMS card in it that will allow it to connect to the network. Get my new phone to self-activate. I had to use my old phone to call the 800 number and tell them I was activating it was a computer. And then my old phone powered off and the new phone was turned off when I turned it on. It was activated. So it is up and running. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself We'll reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.